Well, it's far too early to do a top 10 Patrick Mahomes moments of his career, but you know what? His career has been so impressive this early on, we can still make a top 10 list out of just what he's done so far. So let's get into it, starting off with number 10. I'll pause it a bit just so we can set things up, set the stage, as this was in Mahomes' first season as a starter. Made it to the conference championship against New England, but New England took the lead with about 30, it was 32 seconds left, and the Chiefs only had one timeout. I mean, you know, that would not be his most impressive comeback of his career, but for a lot of guys, it would be. On this play, you're going to see Mahomes is able to make this throw. Uh, they get the big completion, get in field goal range. A flag helped stop the clock, and they had time to kick the game-tying game field goal at that point. Of course, we all know the Patriots would go on to win the game, but definitely early on in Mahomes' career, let us know uh, what he was capable of doing. Even number nine on the list, the only regular season game that makes the list was also in his first season, which was his left-handed completed pass on a key third down on Monday Night Football against Denver. Again, you have to remember just how we all felt in Mahomes' rookie year, or not rookie year, but his first season. We were all just consistently blown away by things that he was doing. But then all of a sudden, he pulls this out, and even though we were all blown away, he does something even crazier than what he was doing all year. They did win that game, and it was just kind of a crazy moment in, the, in his first year. Number eight on the list was just this past season, Mahomes throwing deep to Marquez Valdez, scantling them, getting a big completion to ice the game. Again, the, the situation, it was about two minutes left for the Baltimore Ravens. It was a third down and nine. If the Chiefs didn't convert here, there was the two-minute warning, so the Ravens would have had two minutes with no timeouts, but still, two minutes to you know get a game-tying touchdown. Sure, it hadn't gone great for them that game, but a chance is a chance. However, Mahomes wasn't going to give them that chance, makes the pass, and ices the game. Kind of crazy to think about the fact that you know uh, he's only been in the league six years, and yet a game-winning pass in the conference championship is still just his eighth most impressive moment of his career. And this play is his seventh most impressive, and it was in the Super Bowl, where what's going to happen is I'm going to pause this at a certain point just to set the stage once again. It's a tie game with two minutes and 51 seconds left. The Chiefs, you know, uh, they're near field goal range. Maybe Butker could try a really long one, but you probably would need to gain at least some yards on this, you know, next series. It's also worth mentioning for Mahomes, he is banged up at this point. He, uh, you know, so he's not playing at 100%. And there's Philadelphia Eagles players chasing right behind him. But either way, watch him run past all of them. Doesn't just pick up the first down, but picks up a ton more. And you go from, okay, maybe we can try a long field goal to we can try a chip shot field goal. Let's just burn the rest of the clock, which they you know, obviously did with the uh, holding penalty and all that stuff, uh, which we all know about. But definitely a huge moment. This next one was also a big one, another one in a loss. He has two moments on this list. Again, I'm going to pause it at a certain point. Uh, two moments on this list that were in losses, both weirdly enough against Tom Brady. But this was, again, I think a, a great Mahomes moment for what, in many ways, this game represented for him. Listen, this was not a great game. I mean, look at the scoreboard right now. This did not go particularly well for Kansas City and for the Chiefs. And while, you know, uh, I think the offensive line deserves, you know, gets a lot of the blame for it, it's not like Mahomes was great in this game either. He definitely had moments where he did have time and wasn't able to make plays. But that's not what this moment is about. This moment is kind of about the never-say-die attitude with Mahomes. Again, he's down 22 points in the fourth quarter at this point. A lot of players Players would just kind of give up on a fourth down and nine. Watch what he does. As you see, you're going to uh, you know see that Mahomes is tripped up, but still somehow gets the ball out. You see him on this angle, which is kind of the iconic angle at this point, sideways throwing. Listen, that pass, you know, could have been caught, also could have been intercepted. Uh, kind of multiple players dropped that one, it looked like. But again, it's not about that. It's kind of about this the, the mentality that he showed and just how physically gifted he is that he was able to still get the ball that far down the field despite the fact that he was sideways. Number five on the list, this pass, which was a great pass just in itself, uh, you know, for sure. I mean, getting it to the Kelsey, everyone going crazy, all that stuff. But really why this 
play was so huge, in my opinion, wasn't just the play itself, but the situation. Again, Mahomes, this was in his second season. The Chiefs are in a 50-year Super Bowl drought at this point, and despite the fact that everyone thought this could be the year they win the Super Bowl, they found themselves down 24 to nothing against the Texans in the first half. And you're thinking, okay, it's Mahomes. Let's see what he can do. Maybe it's possible that they can claw their way back. But not only did they claw their way back, but after this pass, they led and it was still the first half. I mean, they, they didn't even need the second half to come back from down 24 nothing. The rest of the game was a blowout. And I really think, if you ask me, what's the loudest, just from sitting on the couch watching the game, loudest I've heard a crowd get? It's this moment right here. Once the Chiefs came back from down uh, 24 nothing to lead 28-24, to still in the first half. What an unbelievable moment. And that's, again, still just number five. Number four was the following week against the Tennessee Titans. We're right here. Again, I'm going to have to pause this a couple of times. Copyright reasons. Sometimes you can't just let a 15-second clip play. But you see, 20 seconds left in the half. It's a second down and 10. And the Chiefs are down three points. Again, they trailed double digits in each of these uh games in that postseason run but now you're only down three so hey kick a field goal you're at least tied you feel pretty good about that after starting slow Mahomes running doesn't love what he sees but watch him be able to make a couple of guys miss okay that was impressive on its own gets to this spot but again it's 14 seconds left the Chiefs have a time you know a couple timeouts so if he gets tackled you can take a shot at the end zone or two but again you don't want to do that you want to get into the end zone as you see, that's exactly what Mahomes does. He you know, somehow finds a way to get into the end zone. All-time celebration by Mahomes as well. That's number four. Number three is the, you know, uh, the 13 seconds situation, which is technically a couple of plays, but it's one moment. I mean, you have 13 seconds to, you know, need a field goal, and they somehow pull this off. I mean, that that's unbelievable. That's one of the greatest moments you'll ever see, one of the greatest comebacks you'll ever see, uh, absolutely worthy of, you know, potentially even a top spot, which I did consider. I decided to not have it as the number one spot just because they ultimately did not win the Super Bowl this year, so uh, I figured maybe not going to do that, but it, it was still an unbelievable moment, and again, kind of reiterates the never-say-die attitude of Mahomes. Number two, we just saw it, but I mean, come on, how can it get much better than this? A passing touchdown to win the Super Bowl, uh, you know, a walk-off passing touchdown in the Super Bowl. There's been one of those in football history. It was this one. I mean, anytime you're the only person to do something like that in a Super Bowl, uh, definitely has to be a top moment. I did consider this as number one, but for me, there's still kind of an obvious number one. It's this one, the Wasp play, the third and 15 play, whatever you want to call it. I paused it right here. You see Mahomes is about to get clobbered. And again, we have to look down at the scoreboard, right? The 49ers are up 10 points with 7 minutes and 11 seconds left, and it's a third and 15. I mean, if Mahomes is a half second later on getting this ball out of his hands, well, then, okay, now he's gotten sacked. It's a fourth and 22. They're punting the ball away. And Really, they're losing the game at that point. They're not winning the game without this play. However, Mahomes does get the ball off while under pressure. Tyreek Hill got wide open down the field, and, and Mahomes didn't know if Tyreek Hill was going to get open. He just he had to throw it before then, but still puts a perfectly accurate throw on there. They're able to pick up the big completion, and they're able to win the Super Bowl. So, yeah. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, six years into his career. Those are my picks for the top 10 moments of his career. So far, I imagine this list will be a lot longer when it's all said and done. But those are my thoughts on all of this. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.